Hello, listeners, viewers, We're people back. who put us on your screen or your earphones. Um, how's it going? <laughs> All good. All good this end. Still yeah. in pyjamas. Literally haven't got dressed today. Yeah. Um, bit of a change of plan, guys. Um, some of you might have seen on Instagram, uh, Twitter and that yesterday that uh, we're going to have Lloyd Griffith on. Um, I've literally just sat down to edit uh, that bit late, admittedly. Um, but just sat down to edit it and uh, there's been a bit of mess up. So we've got the amazing good friend of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good friend of mine, Lucy. Um, yeah, I've known her for years now. I, mean, I, was, I remember when I when I first saw her on the X Factor and she did uh, the Beer Fear song. You know, that last oh, night. Yeah. I you, I love, I, she was brilliant. And then um, she, I think she followed me back on Twitter and she asked me if I'd do a music video for her. She said, how much would you charge me to do a music video? And my brother uh, is a huge fan of his and he, he was getting married later on in that year. And I said to her, if you, do, if you play at my brother's wedding, I'll do the music video for free for you. Nice. So we got that sorted, did the music video, which is called Dear You, um, which is great, available on YouTube and everywhere else. Uh, and then, yeah, she came along, played the wedding, and we just stayed in touch since then. We, we, we're very, like, with me and you, like, very similar upbringing, you know. Yeah. Um, very real, very down to earth. Um, she's just cool as hell, but she's absolutely ripped now. Yeah, that's. I think we talked. She's ripped. The podcast. I think we talked on that. Like, I think she got them out. She gets. She gets. She gets her abs out at the yeah. end, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah. Because um, because that because I've met Lucy a couple of times through yourself and that and yeah. and uh, yeah, she's looking great, great shape and that. Yeah, is yeah. That, she's. Uh, is that what you started then the, the X Factor? Yeah, she. I think she. She used to go around um, singing at small venues, smaller venues in Sheffield and places like that. Where she's from? Is she from Sheffield? She's from that way on Buxton. I think she's from. That's not that. Um, but then obviously she went on to the X Factor, and then um, she left the X Factor early. Yeah. Um, for reasons that I, I, I wouldn't like to say because I don't know the exact reasons. But um, I like that though. I like that she, um, like you said, she went on and did her own song. I, that's the yeah. one. Was my nothing about the X Factor? It's all covers. I, I like. Well, I think that's one of the main reasons why she left because they had a big issue of her doing her own her own songs. Mm. Um, but I mean, she's taken off, and she's you know she's an icon now to to a lot of people. Um, she's selling out tours. She's going over to Australia. She's done America, mm. um, the UK, and Europe. So she's I mean she's flying, um, yeah. and she's oh. not changed. You know she she she's still exactly who she was and. I know she's um she's been sober now for like eleven months. I think she's been sober. Man, this man, no, um, so, and she's just looking great for it. And she's just like a, a song seems to just be getting better, and she's a lot happier. And mm. yeah, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of her work, and I, and I love it to bits as a friend as well. So it was but, great to have her on. But but fucking cats don't. Well, like she hates cats. She's but, not a fan of cats. But she has got um, an amazing dog called Steve. Um, Steve. Steve, yeah, yeah. I had a dog when I was a kid. Can you remember my dad's dog? Um, Kevin. No, no. Do you not remember when I first moved in with my dad when I was about 14? Yeah, he had a dog called Kevin. He was a Sharpe. One of the okay. big, one of the big wrinkly ones. He yeah. could stretch the skin right up. Um, but yeah, Steve's amazing. He's so well trained. He's like a little, like a human. Like a human. Some yeah. of us aren't well trained, some of, some of us aren't well trained. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but no, um, she's, uh, she, she's great. She's, um, um, again, we wanted her on. We was going to go around to hers um, in, in Manchester. Uh, it's where she lives now. Um, before, weren't we? But so it's, for some reason or another, is um, that fell through. So we, we managed to, to get her down um, during the, the very early stages of lockdown so yeah, yeah that's a important note really um this there's a few of these uh, probably another two now summer that were recorded very early stages of lockdown you'll probably be able to tell because i've got no hair um yeah it's grabbing back quick mate yeah, it does man my hair grows really quick to be honest um, i need to do mine look at that <laughs> it's shaved it's um, mental isn't it but uh yeah so so obviously um <laughs> we touch on those, you know, first kind of couple of weeks of, of lockdown and stuff. So, um, yeah, reminisce, I guess. Yeah. Like late March when we recorded this, you know? Yeah. 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 It's, it's been, it's been going on for a while now, hasn't it? It's been good though. It's been good and we're loving it. So yeah. Uh, not the lockdown, uh, the, um, the podcast. The, the podcasting. Yeah. 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 Uh, no. <laughs> 
Um, sweet, should we, should we get on with Lucy Spraggan? Yeah. Here she is. Centimeters or whatever you measure it in. So, <laughs> dilated. <laughs> dilated two centimeters. So. Um, so, so we're recording now. Lucy's just telling us um, that her upload speed is about two centimeters dilated. So, make of that what you want. <laughs> useless. Useless. I love it. We're just saying now, Lucy's just so prepared. Obviously, what she does, she's got so much more. She's got all the equipment at home. Have you got a recording studio at home, Luce? Yeah, but it's been renovated at the moment, so it all just looks a bit like... I'm glad it's kind of blurry and the fancy screen is blurred <laughs> out the background because it looks all... <laughs> it looks that good. That looks this cool, film. Everything, though, doesn't it? I like it. You mm. are. I said it looks good, all this posh like blurring out the background thing, doesn't it? It's it looks very good. fancy. It's like modern art. It's I great. know. All these like we've all got little cameramen in our house. All these months, like, of doing all the, like, from episode 1 to 25 or whatever of overrated everything. Now we've finally just discovered that we can do it like this, and it's just it's so much better. We don't have to leave our houses. We can, and we don't have to. We don't want to. We don't want to. Unless you're that person who, well, one of the invitees of that person who had 25 people around for a karaoke party. Yeah, what? did you see that? Do you not see it, T? No. Mate. Someone, the police had to go around and bust this party of 25 people having a karaoke party. Do you know what the one thing I think about karaoke anyway in a bar, yeah? I don't drink anymore, so I actually think about things before I do it, right? When I think <laughs> about... What's that like? <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. But when I think about a karaoke microphone in a bar and how yeah. disgusting that is. How yeah, because you've got it right close to your mouth, haven't you? It's like literally getting a, a chopper chup and saying er pal to the guy at the bar <laughs> that, that's that's the thing though because like i don't know about you guys obviously um we don't know when this podcast is going to go out but obviously we're still in lockdown while recording so like it, it's made me second guess everything now th- yeah. this whole like you say the microphone like absolutely everything um we ordered domino's pizza the other night because apparently it's it's safe to to order takeout and stuff but they say, like, get rid of the boxes, wash your hands after holding the packaging and stuff. And me and my missus were doing that. And we were like, why don't we do this all the time? Because we don't know who's touched this. We don't know if they've yeah. scratched their ass or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, it makes sense. The nation, the nation are finally be, like, becoming cleaner people. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. I used to work in Pizza Express. And the amount of pizzas I dropped on the floor and sent out, you'd be massively surprised. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I didn't like that place. Fuck it. <laughs> Excuse me, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't order uh, any hair on this. <laughs> How's it been for you, though, Luce? Yeah, all right. Obviously, I just I run a lot, so I'm really hoping that they don't. All these dickheads that keep going out and Harry going. Is in it. Yeah, I just really hope that it doesn't stop people being able to exercise. That's been such a massive part of like thriving for me. So yeah, you've been loads, haven't you, mate? Yeah, I love a little bit of running. I've run 211 kilometres. Wow. Since just uh, just since morning. I started about, yeah, yeah, this morning. I just ran to London, off mate. Um, no, How I've, far is uh, 200 kilometres from where you live? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. All right, Tomo, we don't want stalkers going round. <laughs> I live there, right. I'm just thinking about where you, where you could have run from, from your front door to, I don't know, maybe you might have been able to run to, to London or whatever. Just thinking about it like that, it's quite I impressive. Know. But I was in the south, you know, before the lockdown was put on, and I thought, if I get stuck, I'd got the train down, and I, I said to myself, if I get stuck, I'm just going to run home. <laughs> yeah yeah you know what I did the same I did the same because I was working down there um j- literally early yeah, now it's like it's a forbidden place I was down there <laughs> and um I, I kept thinking that because I was like what if they just stop everything I was like I can you know I can walk home and I kept picturing have you seen um is it 28 days later yeah <laughs> where, where they're literally walking and they just see the sign saying the north and I was like right just look for that sign <laughs> and you know you know you're on your way <laughs> you're safe do you think that's part of it though like so many people are shitting themselves rightly so because obviously it is awful but 
Do you think people are more scared because of the films that we've seen and like the situations that, like a lot of people are putting like the um, like purge and shit like that? Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, do you think that's think that's part of like why people are worried? How? Right. If somebody turns up to my house in uh, any kind of mask or a big siren playing out the car, I mean, there's a there's a gun there on the shelf actually, but you can't see. Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to say that it's not fully functioning for YouTube, like. Um, <laughs> it's like when people say, "Are you go- like, what would you do if you turn your headlights on and there's a clown standing in front of the car? I'm going to just, abs- I'm going to mow them down and I'm going to reverse over them and then you're going to go over them again and then reverse again. I don't, think you'd need, I don't think you'd need a gun or a car loose. I reckon you could hold your own anyway. I could run away now if I wanted to. But oh, you could run away. You can stand there and fight, or you could just run a marathon and just but run away from. I I do think yeah, the movie thing has had a has had a, an influence, but I've been waiting my whole life for a zombie apocalypse, and this is not the one that I asked for. <laughs> I mean, it, it could be if you have all the like unwashed hands just coming after you in the street. <laughs> oh well, I saw this clip on the Imager last night of this guy spitting on this is the shopkeeper and him are having a barney. And he spits yeah. on the fruit, and this guy just smacks him so hard. <laughs> what, like, like a like a like a proper slap. open and oh. bam, and he's and his face hits the floor. But like people are spitting at people, people are coughing at NHS workers. People, yeah, are like, yeah. Someone put on my Facebook the other day that um that they should get done for manslaughter because mm-hmm. what, for all for all they know they could have it, and they're coughing on people and giving them potentially. Uh, a death sentence, really. I reckon. You know? I mean, you should spit on anyone is, anyway. Yeah, spitting should be illegal. Like, that's the it? most difficult. I'd, I'd much rather, if I if Dwayne Johnson come up to me in the street, The Rock, I'd rather him punch me than spit in my face. Cause, but like, you, spitting, you would want him to kiss you, though, wouldn't you? I, yeah, cause straight away after. Yeah. Is, is there anything that man can't do, by the way? Fuck, Jesus. No, no. Amazing, he's amazing. Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he like would. the most highly that paid actor in the world? <laughs> is that, is it, yeah, right behind you, yeah. obviously. Right, just behind me, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I think yeah. Moana, okay. Moana nearly yeah. tips us to, yeah. to, to the scale. Because Mark Wahlberg, Andy Ellis, Joanna Rock Johnson. Yeah, no, he's behind me. I'm. Oh, he's behind you. You want right, him behind I really like. You want him behind you, you, mate. You give him middle name like respect every time. You're like Joanna Rock Johnson. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I love him. Have you seen, he's always in the eye in paradise. That's what he calls his gym, isn't it? The Iron Paradise. Yeah. He's, a, he's an absolute beast. He's a monster. He is. I love him. He is. He's a sweaty man. He's Have a very you seen sweaty that thing as, as well? Don't he use his um his cousin or something as his stunt man? And he like yeah, like he Two takes people his look like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Don't takes tell Tomo, because Tomo will be like, No, Dwayne the Rock Johnson does all his own stunts. <laughs> Tomo will be using his mat next. Don't be like that. Okay. You'll be using Matt as your um, stunt double. Yeah, if, yeah. If I shaved my head, I reckon it'd look. I mean, me and him would look exactly the same, don't you reckon, Luz? Oh yeah, hundred percent. And you'd look like the Rock. There yeah. you go. You'd look like the Rock. Yeah. Similar size yeah. biceps and that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, anyway, enough about the Rock and my biceps. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as much as I'd love to talk about the Rock all day. Um, what do you want to tell us? Your yeah. Um, well, brilliant. over it's everything um there are a lot of things that i think are overrated but i had a little think about it and the thing that i think most overrated which i know is going to offend a lot of people out there yeah cats Cats massively overrated tell us tell us why right first i'll start first by saying if you think your cat loves you you're wrong yeah it doesn't if it if if it was any bigger if it was the size of a dog you'd have no toes that's a fact it would be after her you'd have no toes just toes what oh you'd have no legs what i just like i just (laughs) you turn into a proper old man and oh you'd have no legs you'd have no legs son (laughs) let me go let me go pal let me off i just there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that they're, they're untrustworthy. Like yeah, they're not yeah. loyal. They're not very. They're not. Loyal. Lo- they're not loyal, and the reason they love you is because it doesn't care about you. 
and you might be like oh, no my cat my cat loves me my cat no it doesn't it mm. doesn't if if you disappeared that cat would go and find some more milk to find yeah yeah whereas my dog would be like he'd be like so he'd just be done in the other the other thing that attaches to cats is cat people mm. yeah cat people are a bit weird out there yeah and so like you know you say to someone what's what's your spirit animal some people be like oh i'm a, I'm a wolf or i'm a i don't know what's your spirit oh, animal tom i don't know um a dolphin a dolphin <laughs> is there a way i can find out is that like second most intelligent mammal yeah, it's definitely not a dolphin, mate. I'd go no. more. You look a bit like Sid. You look a bit like Sid from uh, Ice Age. I knew so there was something smart. coming like that. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Smart. With a haircut like that, he's in a position to say I look like something. Do you know what I mean? Jesus, he looks like, like you, Andy. Anyway, uh, between us. I don't know what my spirit animal would be. Uh, a monkey, quite. I don't know, cheeky, like playful. That. Yeah, I like that. But, but then, what does it mean when somebody says? My spirit animal's a cat. I just think, oh, oh, oh. You like to kill I, things and bring them home. <laughs> do, you, do you fucking silently judge everybody that you meet? Do you just want... Yeah. Are you one of those really irritable... That's the other thing. You'd be stroking a cat. Oh, it's absolutely fine for a second. Wow, oh, pow! And he's done you. He's done you. <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> no, no warning. warning. No warning. Yeah. Bah, she's in there. Your eyes Everyone's are... got a mate like that, like at the pub, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, who just starts out of nowhere. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what's what You've been happened? chilled all night, Dave. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah, I, I used to be that mate, that. wasn't I, Tomo? Yeah, I think you might have been mate, yeah. <laughs> your, spirit animal, your spirit animal is a fucking tiger back in the day, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I've Speaking got of... like that, just to unhinge you, you just don't, you don't know what's going to happen. You're like, exactly. Or, you know, if like if they're going out for if you, you say if you sat at the window and you and you look out the window, and he's having a cig and he's talking to five or six lads, and you're like, oh, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go one or two ways. He's going to bring them in and they're going to sit and have a good night with us, or I'm going to see him roll around with all five of them in a minute. It's one of them. I just but, don't, uh, don't miss that. But speaking of tigers, as you said then. Uh, uh, this is a fact that house cats share 95.6% of their genetic makeup with tigers. House yeah, cats. yeah, but that's crazy, isn't it? So basically, you have got a little a little tiger thing in your house. Yeah, and yeah. and the thing is, people will be like, oh my cat loves me because it brings me dead stuff. No, I'm over dead. that. No, it's sitting yeah, at the end of the bed. That. I think my hatred for cats started, um, I had a cat that spoke to me, uh, my family cat said something to me once, and uh, after that I've just been... What did it say, Luz? I had uh, the flu, and I get a bit hallucinogenic when I'm ill, a bit like, um, and I was lying in bed, and I woke up, and this tabby cat's on the end of the bed, it's called Stripey, and it looked at me, and in a really deep man's voice, he just went, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And I woke up again, and the cat's on the end of the bed, and I went, fuck off! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it was just being polite. It could have said something worse, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Horrible. I was really young, it and I'm like, like, mom! It, it, could, it could have just been there and said, like, Satan is your overlord, bow down to him. He just said hello, do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's awful. And I, I, couldn't, I couldn't look at the cat for such a long time. Yeah, yeah. Like, the thing is with cats is, um, they're not they're not loyal and they they're just boring, aren't they? They're just boring. I they mean, I boring. don't, I don't know. Are they? I, I've never had a cat. I've, I've, obviously, Lucy's had a, a pet talking cat. Have you ever had a, had a, had a pet cat? Talking? Yeah, yeah. My my stepmom's <clears throat> got them now. Uh, Jess and Mia, um, right. and they they never want me. Like they never want attention from me. I don't know what it is. Whether. <laughs> No, I don't, oh, never want that, I, that I'd done when I'd, I don't know whether I'd been come and pissed one night and tried to fight one of them or something I don't know or maybe took them a you were going to say fight then it was another F that it sounded like yeah. I came over one night and I was going yeah. to fight to... them <laughs> no! No! no they just I don't know what it is they, they just ne- they never liked me like yeah I think 
probably there's probably t- I could count on one hand how many times they actually come to me and wanted me to stroke them. <laughs> but then I'd say if I was sat on the sofa and I'd go to stroke one of them, it'd jump up and run away, and then it'd yeah. go sit with my stepmom, and then they the wanted attention. It's like what have I done? What have I done to upset you? It and I, I like just it triggers things about like women for you. It's about like <laughs> they just don't want me. They just don't want me. Want me. I touch you with there run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but I, I just think that the boring and the shit stinks. If you because the home kit, the homing kitten. So you know you've got you have the little litter box, don't you? Near the back. Yeah. Did and you then, know Isaac Newton inv- invented the cat flap? What? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I figured that he had a cat and he was like, this cat's annoying as fuck. How can I fucking make, tell it to fuck off on its own? Yeah, he, kept, he just didn't want to keep getting up to open the door, did he? That's the thing. And, and that's the thing. Yeah, they'll go to the door. You'll open the door. Nah. Nah. <laughs> off it. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. It wants you. It's a power play. That's the thing I don't yeah. like about cats. They power play with you. They'll. Yeah. I think that's what the dead stuff is about the cat people think that that's because the cat loves you but actually it just wants to see what happens if it leaves a dead sh- shrew at the foot of your bed or it's like a warning it's like yeah. this, this yeah. will be you next fucking feed me felix if you buy if you buy the cheap shit from aldi again this is going to be you <laughs> yeah um yeah. yeah i i i've never had a cat and um I, when i was a kid like because I, I i don't really like him that much Mine, mine's when I was a kid. I used to have a rabbit, and um, I got up one morning, and and the rabbit was was dead, and my mum just said, "Oh, it must have been a cat frightened it in the night," and I was like, "What?" Just like just throw away. Oh, it must have been cats. Must have been yeah, yeah, and, and blamed it on a cat. So I was like, hated cats from then on. Could have been a fox. Could have been a heart attack. I don't know. But my you mum just what, said, I mean, "Oh, it must have been a cat." I think it was the cat as well. Probably a cat. You, you and my mum are probably right, Luce. <laughs> but um. um I, Go, Go on, on. sorry. No, I, 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 just... I was going to say... Right, you're the guest. You go. <laughs> well, I was just going to say another fact um, that I saw that I hated. That uh, the richest cat ever, it, this <clears throat> as of the source, had £7 million, pounds, right, this cat, what? because the owner died. And I'll add that this is the most cat owner thing I've ever heard of. Instead of giving his money to his family, he left seven million to the cat. And I was thinking it's a good job the cat can like spend its money on what it wanted to, because it'd probably open <laughs> up a concentration camp for humans for to have some premium whiskers made. Premium <laughs> whiskers abattoir. Like a sweat <laughs> like a sweatshop. <laughs> yeah. Imagine what a cat would spend money on. Well, I guess that's all we are anyway, really, for cats, is we're just there to just run around after them and just like, they'll just, you know, pinch a shit off on your rug and then they'll go, oh, that's all right, human will get that in a minute, don't worry about that. Or they'll go, oh, I'm hungry. Oh, that's all right, human will sort that. Oh, this door needs a human will do that. I guess that's all we are anyway to cats. Yeah. No, not dogs. Dogs are uh, are like, oh, I love you. Dogs are so like. And the thing is, is you can teach you can teach dogs dogs things as well, and like I I don't I, I think dogs actually can it's speaking English human because they they, they well like, you can train them to to do like sit down and particularly with Lucy's dog Steve like you you've got Steve, you, some of the tricks that he can do is amazing. Yeah, but we have already we have already found out that Lucy can talk to animals though, so she's cheating a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um I think I read that dogs can learn up to 250 words. Jeez. In English. English. So English do Spanish well. dogs. So do Spanish English. dogs. Speak Spanish. Yeah. Speak Spanish. Yeah. It's off the tone, Spanish, isn't it? So what if a Spanish dog came over to England? You told a Spanish dog to sit down and it'd just go. No comprende. Yeah. <laughs> no English, comprende. English uh, amigo. Um, <laughs> see. I think. <laughs> And it's right in the way that, yeah, it's about tone, but you do, I know say, people who have brought sit. dogs home from, um, where do they come from? I can't remember, my mate's got a dog from the streets somewhere uh, abroad, and it speaks another language, doesn't speak English. you got to retrain it, English. Ah, right. Yeah, because I think it's like, <clears throat> so basically it's it's um, to do with body language, because dogs, dogs yeah. communicate through body language, like dogs don't bark. 
at other dogs. They do, but the dogs only bark to talk to us, to humans. Dogs in the wild, like wolves and foxes and, and, and other canines, they don't bark. Barking is something that a dog has developed uh, through evolution to talk to us, to go, fuck, there's someone there, or I want to go out, or whatever. Oh, there's a so, bin bag! There's a, there's yeah. a bin bag! <laughs> bin bag outside! <laughs> um, so, <laughs> well, there's, a cat. So, there's a cat outside they 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 um they communicate to each other through body language like wagging the tail and, and and putting their ears back and stuff like that so i think most of like training a dog even though you don't realize it will be in the way that you're standing in the way that you say sit with your hand sit or it's trained with hand <clears throat> yeah yeah exactly my my little dog i just do that and she starts barking like there's do you know what i mean and so that's yeah, yeah. Sit that with a woof woof. woof. So, oh, sure. I love that oh. thing that you do, Lucy. Oh, when you turn around and like it, uh, Steve walks with you, doesn't he? He does the conga. It's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. You had him doing it at my brother's wedding, didn't you, Lucy? You had him just yeah, walking around. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember. I was pissed. <laughs> and then she had a fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with that. With that, yeah, with a bride. Um, <laughs> But that's the thing, so, it's like there are dog versus cat people in it and that and the the, mm. the cat people are gonna be the people who are opposed do, to do you think the, the abusing us online. Do you think the obsession people are more obsessed with cats or people are more obsessed with dogs? I think Like what's the like the weirdest thing because I guess you you you've heard of the term crazy cat lady. It, but that's what yeah. You've never heard of the term crazy dog lady, have you? Is that a thing? <clears throat> I think they're just crazy in a different way. It's more acceptable, yeah. isn't it? Because like you got, you're more of an extrovert if you like dogs. I think you're more of an introvert if you like cats. And I think the thing is as well, you get that twenty cats. Yeah. You don't really get that with dogs, and I think that's because like what you say. I think when you have a dog, a dog loves you back. So you get a dog and go, oh, I don't want another. Do you know what I mean? Like this is this you've got is enough love. Love. You've got enough love. Um, and you get a cat and you go, this I need none of these fuckers like me. So I better I get more. more. I need more. I need yeah. more. Before you know it, you've got them everywhere around the house. You're trying to get your cereal under uh, in the cupboards. And did you know a house cat can run at like thirty miles per hour? Thirty miles an hour. They can't seem to outrun cars, can they? <laughs> <laughs> And you should know. All of the people around the world are like, ah! <laughs> no, that is another thing. My dog's, I know not all dogs are, but my dog's pretty road smart. Mm. Can you walk Can you walk him with that lead? You can't, Yeah, can't he, you? D- he doesn't walk on the lead. He walks by my foot. That but, was always a dream of mine when I was a kid, is to have a dog that walks beside me, just without a lead. Yeah, I'd love that. I'd love that. The key How for that, you, how when, you he that? Was a, when he was a baby, I'd take him to uh, like a big field, like a camping field or whatever, and I would have him um not on the lead or anything have him walk with me and if he went off on his own i would just run because they don't want to be their pack animals instinctively when they especially when they're little they don't want to be on their own so he'd panic whoa where are you where are you and come and find me and then we carry on walking do you think dogs can have dogs have got so much more personality like i think a dog a dog's got so much more of a personality than a cat like I think a cat, I don't know, cats are just like, just just nudge their head against you, don't they, and just purr a little bit. Whereas dogs have actually, I don't know, it's almost like, I think, I think dogs have got more of a personality and more about them, definitely. Yeah, like, like Lucy said before, if you if you go to work all day, nine to five, and you come home to a cat, a cat's probably just going to yeah. look at you, know? food, where the dog's going to be, like, I don't know about Whoa! your, like, oh my God, <laughs> Like, do you know what I mean? They, they, as soon as I get home, my two are like, oh my God, like, we, we can't, we've we been waiting all day to see you. Uh, it's, like it's a bit like me with Charlotte. When Charlotte finishes work, because I've been sat around the house all day, when she finishes, when the car pulls up on the front, I'm like a puppy. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> she's home. Whoa, what do you want to do? Do you want to go bowling? Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a run. And she's the like, of creative people at home, just sitting at home waiting for someone to come home. Just waiting for it. Like the postman, I'm like, morning, mate. Yeah, do you want a cup of tea? Coffee? Oh, you're in a rush. All right, cool. We'll see you tomorrow then. Same time, half time. See you there. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, that, and I think that's what dogs can bring. But yeah, cats are just like, 
I think I think they're just boring. I just think cats are a bit pointless. I also think mm-hmm. I've got a bit of validation issues. So like I like it when people like me, right? I think I might not like cats because you've got to, you've got to make an effort for them to even show you any kind of anything. And I'm just like I'm not. If there was a person like that, you were trying really hard to communicate with, and they were a bit like a bit standoffy. Yeah, you'd be like, well, f- go fuck yourself then. See ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more hard work that goes in into into a building a relationship with a cat than there is a dog. I don't, and I yeah. think some kids can be like that as well. Some kids, like, you know, like, I've got mates who've got loads and lo- like loads of mates who've got kids, and some of them, they're, like, they're obsessed with me. They, they, they call me Uncle Tomo, and you know, and they're, they're buzzing to be around me. But then I've got some mates I'll go around to this, and the kids are just a bit like, oh, they're just a bit unsure. Do you know what I mean? I think that says more about you than it does a uh, does um. <laughs> it's bullshit. I've just been sat here for forty minutes getting fucking bullied by you two. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's not bring the podcast back. They say bring the podcast back. They say I was just getting better. I was just starting to find this bullshit. <laughs> I I read online that ancient Egyptians used to shave off their eyebrows when their cats died, and I thought that actually sounds like quite a fun Tumblr trend to start for people yeah. again. Just be like, guys, shave your eyebrows off if your cat dies. I think people respect. jump straight on that yeah. bandwagon. Andy would do it. I mean, look at his fucking bumps. Look at them. I mean, look at his head. <laughs> when did when did you uh, when did you shave your head? I did it um, last week because I was working on uh, a TV job at the beginning of the month, and I had to grow my hair, so my hair was long, and it wasn't even because I had it cut like short back and side ages ago so it was all like you know um and then I, I thought well I can't go to a hairdresser or a barber or anything so I don't want to grow my hair too long where if I just skin it I tried to go to like a three but it just wouldn't go through the clippers so um, if I skin it and then I can just keep on top of it then do you know what I mean so oh, every couple so of easy. weeks I, exactly it's the ease of it do you know what I mean Charlotte won't um, let me do mine just do it Gonna, yours looks yours looks fine now though and probably will for at least a month or so won't it um, probably i don't know it's quite long to be fair it's, it's all right but it, it'll get yeah. to the point where it, it's all right but it'll get to the point where it is like and i know when it's long because the back sticks over my shirt over my <laughs> t-shirt <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my you, eyebrows have just my eyebrows start getting extreme and i'm gonna look like fucking hagrid soon because my, my lip <laughs> i get my lips threaded just a, just a really skinny I just have a long hagrid you know like the girl from the ring but her hair's all black and straight but that's just gonna come off my lip like that <laughs> <laughs> like <a shirt. laughs> but, you're, but you're inside so it doesn't matter does it like do you know what i mean because my 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 wife gets her, her eyelashes done and she said the other week she was like, it was like the girl's last appointments. And she was like, oh, I'm going to go and do it. And I was like, I wouldn't, like, we'd social isolating, like, just don't do it. Like, you know, just stay away. Like, pe- like she felt bad because obviously her business was kind of going on. Just was like, just send her the money as like a thank you for doing it and I'll be back like soon or whatever. But yeah, I was like, you, you're inside. You don't need your eyelashes doing. You're I having Friday nights nice or house party or whatever. Do you know what I mean? I get it though because like grooming is it. I, I like getting my eyebrows done, and I I've just finished that job, and from day one the the, the makeup and uh, hair and makeup department said that I can't get my eyebrows done. I get mine waxed, and so for eight months I couldn't do anything with my eyebrows. So all the way through this job, I'm like looking forward to seeing Sophie who does my hair and my eyebrows, looking forward to seeing her. But then obviously when this job finished. I couldn't get them done. So I haven't had mine done for ages now. And although they don't look too bad for to me because I'm used to getting it done, there's that sort of inside feeling of like, you just really, you know what I mean? You want to keep on top of it. And I guess women are, are more, they're more involved in that sort of thing. Don't you know I mean? Grooming. Most, most, I guess. So there's a lot, a high percentage. I know that like, you just want to feel nice. Yeah. Like, I so. I've, I'm going to whack a suit on me, make myself spag bowl, sit with a candle at the, at the dinner table in my in my in a three piece suit. <laughs> you do look good in a suit, mate. I'm gonna you do. do I'm gonna put it on Instagram in here just for some attention. <laughs> you should call it ha- hashtag sprag ball as well. Just, to, sprag just ball. To... I, but yeah, my friends used to call me sprag ball at school. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> I think you look amazing at the minute though, Lou. You've completely transformed, haven't you? Like you do look great. Do you think that's got a little six huh? pack going on? 
I know, I love it. Back, guys. Do you think go that's... Um... Oh, go on, go on, Andy, go on. No, no, go on, go on, no, go on, keep no, going. No, no, go mine's on. not important, go on. Yeah, just while that, do you think that's to do with your hatred of cats? <laughs> no, I was going to say, while we're on the subject of grooming, one thing that I can't stand, and I didn't think was real until I got with my wife and her mum and dad have a cat, hairballs. Oh, yeah, that, that's, yeah. That's when they're grooming yeah. themselves in, and then they <laughs> cough it up. That alone should not make you want that creature in your house. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. It's and disgusting. the fact that they lick, they are so readily. My dog doesn't really lick his own bum. I'm not even sure he can get to it, to be honest with you. I think he's anatomically a bit, bit bent. I know some dogs can, like little dogs. Are, okay. But the cats are just sitting there like... like oh, <laughs> I nearly had my... Just... Like that. <laughs> And yeah, you go yeah. at its own bumhole, staring at you, <laughs> staring at you, plotting your demise whilst looking at its own asshole, <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, coughing up its own bum hair, <sighs> all over the floor, man. That's hanging and in it. It's like that a is tube. Different. It's like a, it's not a ball. It's like a tube. It's like a shit-shaped ball of fur, a turd of fur. And it's foul. Is there any cats that you do think are cute? Yeah. There's, you know, Bengalis are supposed to be, like, absolutely nuts. I think they're cute. Like, mini tiger vibes. Mm. Yeah, I think Justin mm. Bieber's got one. Justin Bieber's got a little tiger one. Oh, no, it's Joey Essex. I know all the cool people, clearly. <laughs> How'd you get them confused? No, no, no. Same, same, same categories. Maybe the same cats agree. Um, <laughs> hey. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I think the, the, maybe they've both got one. But um, I think them, uh, are, are the per- Persian cats? What are the ones with the flat faces? Got like Siamese. Like, really, uh, Siamese. No, they're the bald ones, aren't they? Have you seen them? No, I don't no, know. No, no. Uh, no, so Siamese like ones aren't bald. See, I'd have one of them because I'm allergic to cat fur. So if I did get a cat, it'd have to be the bald looking alien things. Anyway, I, I, like, think. I actually do like them, but apparently they're oh, really, really nice weird. Eyes. Nice eyes. Like very strange personalities, those cats, apparently. Oh, I, I wonder what that's from. I do accept that cats have different personalities and, like, ragdoll cats. They're called ragdoll cats because they are, they're like ragdolls. You just, they'll just go like that. And I do accept that they've got different personalities. And also, I accept that, like, they do personal things for other people, like the way that we love dogs, people love cats. I get that. But Yeah, like... A- like a therapy animal and stuff like they, you know what I mean? Like they can, they can bring people comfort and, and especially at a time like now, a, a lot of people are relying oh. on the cats and that. Yeah. But that doesn't well, change the fact that they are little shits. If, and if they ran over. out of bloody Felix, they'd have, their, they'd have their nose off while they're sleeping. Yeah. Well, isn't there a thing, isn't that a thing? I don't know. You might have it on your facts, but like, and like people who have like, been been like died in the house and stuff been at by the cats that's a thing right I, I, was gonna, I was gonna check up that fact and or i can see multiple sources but apparently dogs would eat you as well all ah, right i mean fair do fair do the animal's starving do you know what i mean it doesn't have a clue it's just like right that's meat it's not feeding oh my me God. i started getting ants in my bathroom right i was like what what the fuck why do do we even have ants in this country and why are you in the bathroom i just (laughs) had no idea what was going on so i had a bloke come and poison them and he said um in about two weeks time you you'll you'll you know they're gonna that's when it's gonna hit them because the ants go and get the food and they carry it back to the queen and then They, they all share the same food source because they're super efficient. This is why I was talking about because like animals will eat you if you if the, you're dead because they're dead efficient. Um, yeah. And so so all this end of the world shit's happening. All, all this like you know COVID <laughs> stuff. And I'm in the bathroom day before yesterday, and these ants. It's obviously gone and hit the fucking hit the ant hill, hasn't it? They're all in the bathroom running around in circles. Oh my god. The Queen's dead, I think. I think the Queen must have had <laughs> Lucy, and you need to get out, mate. I think you need to get out of the house for it just mate, for a while. I felt oh. awful. I felt awful. I felt like how we feel at the moment. Everyone's running around buying toilet paper and hoarding <laughs> nappies when they haven't even got children. 
And these ants are just, <laughs> honestly, it was all, I felt like, I just felt like I'd, I'd caused what, what, what we're having at the moment for these ants. I feel really bad. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh my God, the queen. <laughs> the queen is <laughs> like, run around in circles on, and you could see them run up to each other, say something and then run away from each other and run around in circles again. You should make a documentary, oh. mate. You should be recording this. I we are, luckily enough. Have you, got any other, have you got any other pets? Do you have any, or did you have any other pets when you was a kid? I had cats, and I, um, we had completely... You had cats? Yeah. Oh, okay, of course, you had the one that talked to you, didn't you? Utterly. We called Stripey as well. That's the one that spoke to me. Um, completely died of... Uh, she, they love um, antifreeze. What? I know if cats can get hold of antifreeze. Animals in general... They like the taste. It smells really sweet to them. Wow. She got so did poison. It. Yeah, she died. She, uh, I think her liver, liver went or whatever. Jeez. But and how does that make you feel? How did that make you feel when you were? <clears throat> I can't say that I cared that much. No. But is that like, be- is that because she didn't say goodbye? <laughs> 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 she went on the end of your bed saying goodbye <laughs> I've literally written songs about like I wrote a song about my dog dying. I had a dog for yeah. six years that absolutely broke <clears throat> me absolutely tore me apart but I, I can't I can't ever say we had we had, we had rats as well um, we had Bono who was named after the bubonic plague oh alright yeah. oh, not, not the not the not, U2 not U2 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I hate you too. I mean, uh, I mean, there's similarities between you two and the bubonic plague, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I can't even think about plagues right now because that's technically. I know. Um. So you had rats. You had rats. Dilly and Char Char as well. I think they. You had what? Who Dilly and Char Char? What are, is are that they? Or is that an animal? Who Dilly? Char Char. Right. Two rats. Um, I thought this was some kind of, like, random animal you had. This was really stressful. I found, Me and my sister found one of the rats hanged. <clears throat> it had got its head through the bars trying to get some food. And bloody ju- came in and its bloody neck is in the thing. It was oh. awful. Oh. I remember that so vividly. So you, So that affected you more than losing the cat? Yeah. So you see so if it... So you you prefer rats over cats? Yeah, I think they're smarter. I think they're more loyal. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they are, aren't they? Rat, rats are pretty pretty clued up, aren't they? Yeah. I'd quite I, like a I, bunny rabbit. It showed recent mate, I went to a girl's house once after a night out and everything was perfect. Everything was perfect. I was like, absolutely in here. And I got in there and I shit you not, there's about twenty fucking rabbits. Oh, I mean, are we on about pet rabbits? What are we on about here now, Luke? <laughs> <laughs> one or two ways there. That's yeah, what you think. I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> so we had a great night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was so we, were, so, we were literally and, buzzing. <laughs> and I, I think uh, house rabbits are a surefire sign of... If, if, if cats aren't <clears> a surefire sign of a bit of a... a a person you should maybe approach with a little bit of anticipation yeah. and weirdness. House rabbits, mate. My mate's got two house rabbits and I think they're beautiful. I don't yeah. get a house rabbit. Why Why would you want the rabbit in your house? They still poo everywhere, don't they? Yeah, no, but they're just like fluffy and cute, aren't they? But I, nah. I... They are cute, but put them in a hutch, man. Like, I'm cold. with that with Lucy on this. Hold out there. Put you in a hutch. I think you live out in the wild. Yeah. <laughs> the just... I'd living. like a static caravan. You live in your, you live in yeah, your caravan. Yeah, that'd be nice. Time anyway, don't you? Not most of the time, but I do love a bit of going out in the camper. Mm. Speaking of house rabbits, my dad went and caught this rabbit in a field because he was convinced it was a house rabbit. It was called Applejack, and he put it in the garage, and it was just a no, savage no, no. male cat. A uh, male rabbit, like that. It was not at all a fucking house rabbit. It was just a nuts, psychopathic f- rabbit that he decided. It was just a wild animal, I guess. Right? And did how long did you keep that for? Oh, I lost you for a sec there. 
Oh, how long did you uh, did you have Applejack for? I don't know. I just remember not being able to go in the garage because you'd open the garage door and this thing would just pow <laughs> like yeah. fuck it, ah! Shut it before you get myxomatosis. Get that door closed. <laughs> I love that your dad cat caught a wild animal and was like, that's the pet now. That Applejack. Guy, that guy, yeah. you like. Do you think you can molt, like you can... <clears throat> I think Steve is very similar to you in a way. Like, he loves it. He's, he's very. He's my out- dog, by the way. Steve's, yeah, Steve's a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's... um. He's very outdoorsy, and you can see that he's buzzing when he's outdoors, like you. You know, when you go away in your camper van and you'll, you know, you'll go hike up a mountain, or even when you're you're driving to shows and festivals, he's buzzing in the car. You know, I, I, I but I, I think there's no way you could ever do that with any other animal. I don't think you could sort of make them like dogs. Dogs can be like best mates. Mm. You can't walk a cat. You can't take a cat out for a walk. You can you know buy I mean? cat leads. Yeah, no, that's just I shit. Think the but yeah. I think you could, you like, you, a dog can literally become a best mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But then and people, the cats, is but that then I think people who love cats might turn around and go, well, these dickheads think these dogs actually like them. They think that they're part of their personality. Blah blah blah. No, I think I think the thing is, is because again, Lucy might have this written down in a fax, but like, um, dogs, dom- we domesticated dogs, but cats either domesticated themselves or they're not quite domesticated so like dogs love us and whatnot because we domesticated them because years and years ago they went to a tribe and they got food and they were like oh i like this i'm gonna stick with these where cats like you say they're still like really wild animals aren't they you you said the cat out in the morning it goes out it's a wild animal it's catching birds it's doing whatever isn't it so yeah yeah i yeah. guess oldest known pet cat was 9,500 years ago. Wow. It was what? what? The oldest known cat pet that they like can see is 9,500 years ago. Wow. Wow. So that's like pre pre um, pyramids and everything in it. That's 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 the ancient Egyptians would worship. They worshipped cats. Mm, I wonder what that was. I wonder what why. Again, maybe, maybe because they're so like cool and don't give a shit. Maybe they're, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say. Mm. My 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 whatever religion would be dog dog worship. Dog worshiper. Yeah. Dog worshiper. What? Yeah. Dog, I think it's about backwards. Oh, dun dun dun! Yeah, <laughs> I I I do agree. Dog dogs over cats for me because yeah, I don't know. Just I I was I love the idea of having a dog because I want to take it. I want to go walking with a dog, and I want you can you you can literally build up a relationship with a dog, can't you? And then you know that they love you and trust you. Where yeah, just cats are just. I think cats yeah, are very it. cats are very much just there. That's why I think they're overrated because I think of them in relation to a dog. Yeah. Dogs being the optimal, optimum, a pet. Truthfully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm like, dogs are more effort. Yeah, you get more out of them. I, that's 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 it, man. I just think they're a bit shit. I, 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 yeah, I, I agree for me. Yeah, for me, I agree as well. Like, I, I, I have recently kind of said to the missus, like, oh, I'd like to have a cat just because I've never had one, you know, and I love animals. You can't, you can't. And just because you've never had one, I don't think you should get one. Like, no, I don't, I'm not like, loads of things that I've never had, and I'm, just, you know, I'm just going to get one just because. Yeah, but you know me, Tom. I've had chickens, one. I've had everything, haven't I? I'd like to have a cat. Just I've had chickens, yeah. Fun. I just like if I had one, I reckon it would just run in the road probably. What? Yeah, I live like uh, not near a main road, but it's just it's a road. People drive fast down. It's like a country road. I just reckon it'd die. Yeah, that's it. Right, I've got a driveway. I've got quite a long drive, and then I've got the front garden. There's no gate or anything. And when I first moved in here, I got Steve outside and I, I went like this with my finger and don't walk past that line and he never did 
He never really? has. He ne- never ever has. Wow. He's well, there really you go. That says it all. That it says it all. Whereas cats are just a bit like cats are a bit more adventurous, aren't they? They just they just I think they, they just like pissing humans off. I think that's why they bring. Oh. It's Speaking fun and games pissing, for a minute. Go on. This could this could add to why I don't like them. Went to the zoo with my family, including my um like extended family. So. My, I don't know if this is what extended family means, but my stepdad and my stepbrother and sister. So when we just just sort of gel families, and it was like yeah. you never like you never like your, your your new family, do you? You're like, ugh. I was a bit unsure, aren't you? Ugh. And we went to the zoo, and I'm stood near this tiger cage, and the tiger bloke sticks his fingers through the thing and stroked this tiger, and this tiger's tail went up right where I was standing, and it pissed, it sprayed piss, male tiger piss. <laughs> fucking all over me all how old not, was you like a teenager not fucking little for it to be like ah! like teenager to stand there with a face like this <laughs> <laughs> like something from the in-betweeners <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's where it all started then mate maybe that's where it all started it, you guys if you're lucky you won't, you won't smell like that in six weeks <laughs> if you're lucky. Oh, and did it did it stink as well? Because that's another thing. Like cats piss stinks, doesn't it? It's like you know it when it was repulsive. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What what would be your dream pet, Luce? What'd be a dream oh. pet if you could have one? Um, I'd quite like a monkey. Oh, I lost you. I I I'd, I'd quite like a monkey. Yeah, I'd like a. Mo- it depends whether we're going to be judged. Seem loyal. For, like, if we, like, do you know what I mean? If you said, I want an elephant, but I don't really think elephants should be in captivity. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, I remember years ago, my mum was, like, debating me, let, letting me have a monkey. Because you can, you can buy them, can't you? Like, little uh, capuchin monkeys, like Ross Adam friends. Um, oh. And my mum was, like, full on. Like, yeah, we'll like that. And I'm going to get one of these from. But, <laughs> <I'm gonna> get <laughs> prime. <laughs> but it's it is it is kind of cruel because they are wild animals they're not like this is the thing in it they're not domesticated in any way shape or form where a dog it's fine to have a dog because they're domesticated they're not you know don't have a pet wolf because that's fucking stupid idea anyway don't have a pet fox because they're wild they're wild dogs you know what i mean where like you know a, we've got cavapoos they're as domesticated they won't survive 10 minutes in the wild do you know what i mean um Annoying. Yeah, yeah, they are pretty annoying, but I love them. Um, but yeah, like monkeys, people have because I used to have birds as well when I was younger. Um, like I used to have like uh, budgies and cockatiels. That's another one. That's another one that I never got is people having birds. I don't see. Really I just don't. Think, I don't get that. I'd always love to have like an African grey parrot or a macaw parrot. You know, like the big, Why? the proper like pipe. I just think they're feel cool. Pipe but... that because in their yeah. fucking where they live, they're all over the gaff. Yeah, that's it. As I've got older, I've started to think, no, like, it's not fair on them. Do you know what I mean? It's just sitting in the... Have you seen that video where this bloke's <laughs> filming outside his house and the police turn up and he's like, oh, your neighbours have called because this parrot's going, help me! Help! 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 <laughs> and they think it's a woman. It proper sounds like a woman. Look it up on YouTube. It's me. He goes, he's like, come and have a look and see what it is. And the police will be themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never, I, I've never understood things like that. Um, That's a guy... also birds are next level, fucking smart, next level. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, parrots and and same with monkeys. I think this is one reason why we didn't get a monkey because what they can do, um, uh, parrots as well, especially, is they'll attach to one member of the family. So it might be like, it might be you, or it could be mommy, dad, whoever, but they'll kind of attach well, that, to that that's person. What, but that's what cats do as well, though. Oh, did well, that's, what, cats, that's what cats my cat, my stepmom's cats did. They loved right, him right, and yeah. hated everyone else. Well, that's it's it. That, but obviously, like cats. Are so... Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah. Where they where they kind of just what is it? There's a word, isn't it? Like an attraction or summit. Maybe because she feeds them every day. She fed the cats every day. Maybe that's what it is. She thinks oh, her... that cat thinks she's a bitch. Yeah, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. You buy a weird looking, weird looking stepson who comes around talking about his new films instead. <laughs> Why don't you love me? <laughs> um, 
So that's 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 about 45, 50 minutes of, of chat. So um, uh, yeah, it's a good we'll time to end, isn't it? Yeah. There. Start yeah, abusing yeah. Tomo. There's a little bit of abuse in the middle, and then we'll finish off with a bit of abuse to Tomo at the end. I mean, yes. it's great. Um, but thanks for coming on, Luce. Um, thank you for you know, having me. Yeah, in your, your busy, in your busy isolation schedule. <laughs> Been good oh, to yeah. catch up, mate. I've got, I've got, I've got all kinds of meetings going on. So what are you doing? Because <laughs> you're a creative, you know, you're a singer songwriter. What are you? Are you writing? Are you, are you doing yeah, anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm writing an album. I was supposed to be recording a bloody album. Well, actually, it's supposed to be touring Australia in a week, uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, is that but, being um, scheduled, mate? I know how buzzing you was for that. Yeah, no, no, I'm getting on the plane. <clears throat> getting on the plane. Just gonna, yeah. just gonna go now. Just gonna go yeah. there. Just yeah. gonna pull. Pull my T-shirt up over my face and just get your hands out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> see yeah. Go on. Show us your abs. Look at this, by the way. <laughs> Look. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jesus, man, and, I love it. And uh, I don't even do sit-ups. I was going to say, is that literally just from running, stopping drinking, and eating well? Yeah. I, to be honest with you, I think it's from keeping up with boys my whole life. Like I've only had male best friends, so like I've always lifted what they lift and like ran where they ran. And I remember when I came up to weight. your house. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. No, go on. I and, remember when I came up to you. you. Yeah, yeah, you did do that. You, we played the sock game and you fucking twisted. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> what's, the, what's the sock game? What's the sock game? Um, well, go on, explain it, Luce. The sock game. You got you take one sock off. So the opposite foot of so each content you play this with your misses it's mint you and you you start really low and you've got to get the sock off the other person's foot. Me me and my mates play this when we're drunk at parties but with shoelaces so you've got to run it's the first one to untie the other one's shoelace. Oh, like, it's so good like with wrestling. the sock because you like get you get well their better. foot. And you start yanking it, and the, the sock, you know, when a sock tightens on the foot, and then you're trying to wangle your foot around while you're pulling the, their other sock, it just gets really like. Yeah, Lucy playing it after a, I, don't, I don't know how many bottles of gin. But yeah, we was rolling around there. But anyway, that's not what I was on about. What I was on about is um, I don't think it was that time. I came around once, and you, you was literally ripping out your own kitchen, weren't you? You was, you was sorting out, you just completely replaced your own kitchen. So I thought, yeah. it was I, Charles, I, I can't even hang a picture. Yeah. Oh, this year, I can't do that. And Lucy's there, fucking plumbing new fucking taps in and that. It's oh, it was amazing. Just like yeah. doing stuff. I'm building some planters actually today for oh, uh, nice. um for some onions, courgettes, and parsnips. Nice. I've yeah. started growing stuff as well again. It's a good idea, I think, isn't it? Growing yeah, a bit. But weed is not the fucking thing, Andy. You're growing <laughs> weed again. I told you. Jesus. Uh, mushrooms <laughs> mushrooms are very easy, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. Anyway, it's great. I'm going. Me. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Back to your bloody mushroom patch. Um no, thanks thanks a lot for uh for coming on, Lucy. Um you've cheered us up. Cheered me up anyway. I don't know about Tom, I probably have looking at his face. Yeah, it's great, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, it's nice to speak to some people and especially fun. And thank you very much for having me on. Nice. Well, thank you. Lots of love, mate. Love you. Bye. Cheers. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> Lovely chat. I enjoyed yeah. that one. Um, again. Yeah, it's great. She's um, she's just so cool and just so normal, isn't she? Yeah, that's it. Like um, again, I remember when you kind of first introduced me, and, and and sometimes like in this world that we sometimes lucky enough to live in and inhabit of showbiz, when you get introduced to like someone's mate who's like a singer or someone's mate who's like a or whatever a fucking juggler or whatever and you're kind of like oh you're all right where lucy's just mint in chess yeah what's it the first time you met was it that night we went to that oasis thing yeah the oasis uh that oasis screening thing and then we went out we went to 42s didn't we did you come to 42s yeah 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 cracking night that it was a good night man it was we were out with the sherlock's who uh yeah sherlock's and uh lucy yeah matty came and doing my brother yeah yeah sherlock theme tune for for this guys for this podcast thank you yeah. again um 
but yeah, Lucy, uh, Lucy Doolittle talks to the animals, talks to a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was bizarre. It's been, <laughs> but I guess she's so right though in what she's saying about like cats not having no loyalties. Yeah, they haven't, really. have they? If, if yeah. you put a bowl of milk at your back door now, the the cat next door will come straight to that. Yeah. You know, whereas uh, dogs, they're just that, that they're just. It's more compatible, I think, with humans, aren't they? Yeah, dogs. dogs are just dogs are just mint, aren't they? And and I was saying this actually the other day. Um, I don't know if we said it on the podcast now, but um, like people who are like dead into dogs, who like love dogs, I still find them quite normal, sane people. Yeah, well, as well as a crazy cat lady. People who are into cats are like, to me personally, just. A little bit different, I think. They're just they're just so into cats and everything yeah. they talk about is cat like I love dogs, but I don't think I've ever really mentioned my dogs much on the podcast. Where if I had cats and I loved cats, that's all you'd fucking you would be. Yeah. Like Carol Baskin. She's obsessed with cats. <laughs> yeah. cats. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna um, in the in the thing for this, you can kind of put like suggested things that um ah. the podcast is about. That's getting Carol Baskin the fuck up, man. That's getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> to watch Tiger King. I apologise <laughs> profusely. <laughs> yeah, but um, thanks everyone for listening. But we uh, we know we had a bit of a problem. Um, obviously, yeah. this week we know it was supposed to be Lloyd Griffith, um, like we just touched on the intro. Mm-hmm. Um, but the good news is, is we are gonna we are gonna get that sorted. So yeah, it's possible. To Lloyd now, aren't you? Um, mm-hmm. Off camera, off. Uh, so that's good. Hopefully, we can speak to him this week and then get him yeah. out mo- next Monday. If not. We've got other people. We'll get someone else out and we'll get Lloyd out as soon as possible. Yeah. Sorry, soccer fans. <laughs> <laughs> but Lucy, man, what a good podcast. Um, it was yeah. going to be the next week or two anyway, so it's good to get Lucy out now. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it, man. And, and I, yeah. I, I talk about animals till the cows come home. Yeah, so, you're a big lover of them, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I like what you did there, mate. Yeah, man. I like, I like animals. All creatures, great and small. They're all men. Charlotte won't let me have a dog. Really? Why? You've not got the, you've not got the time. You've not got the time. You have she naps. says because of work and stuff, because I'm away a lot. Yeah. And she works She works about a 20, 25 minute, 30 minute drive away from home. Yeah. See, so we won't be able to let it out. And we like travelling, so it's just a bit of a yeah. pain see, in the see, ass, really. We got our dogs. We've had, we've had our dogs. Holly, we've had since like 2000 and 11 and Rudy we got in 2013 I think mm. at, before we had kids and it was easy then because Emily was kind of in uni and uh, she just got a, like a first job and I was home a lot and that but yeah when you work it like now we've got kids and we're working like we, we do do a lot with the dogs but not as much as we used to do you know yeah. what I mean? which is quite, quite it's a big thing it is a big thing. It is a big thing, but you you know we you've got to make time for them. And we we do. We take them out on walks and walks and things like that. But we don't. You know, it's just it's just one of them things. And it's like I guess that's, that's a good thing of having cats. Is you don't have to take them for a walk. That's it. That's it. But you can do though. There is there is people. Yeah, you can get cat leads, can't you? But I'd like a dog just to go walking with a dog. You can do uh, borrow not probably again not now because of what's going on but you can do uh, borrow my dog yeah, you should sign up to that yeah I know but you ain't got you don't get to build up the relationship and it's like yeah that's true. like a dog can be like a good like a, a best mate can it yeah man yeah definitely definitely I and mean, you know it's not I, I won't go to the pub and just go to a group of lads and say oh can I borrow your, your mate just take him out for a pint you know just, you're like Steve <laughs> yeah yeah can I take him out. Yeah, it's just like that boring a dog in it. I'd want I want my own dog. I want my own friends. I want to build my own friendships. Live so. it, Tom. One day you will. One day, One day you will. <laughs> um, sweet. So yeah, hopefully next week, guys, we'll have Lloyd Griffith. Is that a Griffith? Griffith. Griffith. Yeah, Griffith. Sounds like you've got a lisp when you say it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I have a bit as well. <laughs> um, we've got Lloyd next week. Then I'm not going to say his name again. Um, hopefully, uh, but if not, it'll be someone else. But again, thank you very much for listening, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Get on that Patreon, uh, like, subscribe, all the tell your mates. Uh, tell your mates that's the best one. Everyone sat in, with not much to do. Probably watched every box set you can right now. We've got like thirty odd episodes here that you can. Mm. Some of them are longer than an hour. Pass the days away listening to me and Thomas Turgoose. <laughs> <laughs> right, sweet mate. Thanks, mate. See you next time, gang. <laughs>